business card and photo P. I'm going to do file open. I selected an image to use. Uh, business card is not square. Uh, actually, there are some, but let's do a standard size one to start. So we need to go to image size and get things right. For print quality, 300 dots per inch is good, 600 is better. And then we're going to need it to be, uh, it's 3.5 inches, but um, if you print the business card, you need some space around the edge where it gets cut. So I'm going to make it 3.75 inches. And let's click OK. And I'm doing Command minus to zoom out. All right, still I need to uh, make it about two and a quarter inches high. So let's go to canvas size. Probably want to uh, just get rid of the bottom part. So let's go to inches and let's make it 2.25 high and anchor it at the top. All right, so this will be the basis of the business card. Um, next thing to do is play with the image a little bit. So let's start by doing levels. And we'll add an adjustment layer for levels. And uh, let's just play around a little bit. Hmm. Okay, it gives a little more definition. Go from this end too. And finally, that all important midtone contrast. Where do we take it? Um, we can make it light and make our text dark, or we can make it dark and make our text light. So, uh, just try to find that sweet spot. Uh, that looks good. Let's try that. Next step, we can check around the image. Are there any other adjustments we would like to make? Well, we could add another adjustment layer. Uh, could make it black and white if I wanted. And then there's some crazy stuff down here, like posterize. You know, you could experiment and see. Uh, what it basically does is it uh, kind of cuts down on the level of number of colors that you can add like a lot, or you could add a little. Um, this could be fun too. So, you know, there's different things you could do. Well, let's go with two. I kind of like this effect. And then I'll probably go pretty dark on my letters um, for this. All right, next step, add some text. Um, so try to use the uh, principles of design, put them into effect. Uh, we'll probably do two text boxes. So one is going to be for my name. And let's just pump that size up a bit. To, well, ballpark figure, 72 would be good. Um, and we can make the text color. Yeah, it's probably good like it is, actually. And decide. You know, you got to have some space off the edge. So it's going to get cut right about here, and then we need to go in even more. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and focus on the title then. So, you know, I can go back in there. Let's pick the font I really like. I want something professional but fun. All right, this kind of, this sketch might work. Uh, and let's let's bring that size even up more. Let's try 108. So really, I'm going to emphasize my name. 
uh, I think I'd like that bolder if I could. So let's see, are there some controls in here to make it bold? All right, nope. Let's click on the three dots. Fill, stroke, background. Hmm. You can kind of add some effects there too. Warp would let me, uh, you know, maybe put it on a curve. So that's something you could play with. Here we go, regular. Okay, so there's no bold font for this. So I'm going to have to rely on text effects on this one. So place it. Placement is important. And let's do some effects to really make that stand out. Outer Globe might be fun because it's already kind of crazy and wild. And then you can pick the color for the glow. Uh, since it's a dark text, let's use a very light color. And got to spread that out a bit. Add some size to it. And there we go. It kind of kind of works. And you could even make this a gradient. If you want to go really wild. But I think I like the solid color better. Okay, so that's legible. Now we need all the details. So we make another text box. Click on there and start typing. It's going to be the same font. Um, so I'll be today a creative creator. Um, get my email, our winter bottom at es cap.org and then also city arts tech high school SF. Okay, select all that. Let's pick a more professional looking font. I could do a serif or a non serif. It's hard for me to choose on this one because I think either one would complement things. Too many fonts to choose from, but actually, you know, that's kind of fun. Let's try Francois 1, see how that looks. Okay, it's not bad. Um, size obviously needs to come down, but I still want it to be big. Let's try 72. And then um, can fix the leading here by going here and let's set up the leading to be a little tighter. So we could make that 60 probably. Um, I probably want to distinguish the color from my name too so we can do more contrast. So. Let's go over here. Get the color. Maybe blue. Teal. All right, let's see how that looks. Okay, obviously it's not. I'm trying to line it up with uh, my layer up there. Hmm, I picked the exact color. I feel like that's in the background. Let's hide that. Yes. <laughs> Uh, maybe just using yellow then probably work better, and then I can go off the yellow. Let's change that to yellow. Click off. Okay, so now if we put a really hard shadow on there, probably going to be able to see that. So let's go into effects, EFF, and let's try dropping a shadow. Um, Make the path. You can change all the settings, so a high opacity would be helpful. And spread on it. And the distance is a little much, so let's get the distance closer. Um, not the most perfect car in the world, but I think I need to be ready to finish this now.
All right, okay. Yeah, I'm not the happiest with this, but it'll work for the assignment because I use the principles, name is emphasized, there's alignment, there's a clear movement uh, from the top to the bottom, all that stuff. I just need to export it now, so I'll go to File, Export as, let's do a PNG. Uh, make a quality high. We'll save it. There we go.